Hello, my name is Melissa Drum and I'm a Siemens Drives and Motion Control Product Specialist at ENM. And in this video, I'd like to share with you the Cynamics General Purpose Family line. As you can see, there are many different options to choose from, nine in total, and they're all designed to handle different applications with different requirements. Let's just quickly take a look at three of my favorites, the V20, the G120, and the G120X. The V20 is a cost-effective solution for plant and machinery construction that requires simple control, like speed for a pump or fan. When setting up the V20, you can either use the built-in buttons here, or we highly recommend the new V20 Smart Access module that you install right in the front and you use with your computer, laptop, or cell phone. You just simply select the checklist in the front here, fill in the information requested, and press save. Once the V20 is all set up, you can continue to use the Smart Access module for diagnostics and motor monitoring. The new G120X was designed specifically for industrial water, wastewater, and HVAC applications. Highlights include an integrated DC choke and simple application functions you can set up, like DRAG mode and flying restart. The G120X can be set up in just a few minutes using the operator panel of your choice, whether you'd like to use the basic operator panel, the intelligent operator panel, or like the V20, we have a smart access solution for you as well. Or if you already have your parameters set up, feel free to just save them on an SD card and insert into the G120X. Once you're set up, you can check out those application functions I mentioned, whether it be the DRAG mode, which will automatically clean your propellers for you, so no more manual cleaning, or a flying restart, which will automatically get your motor started quickly again after a quick power failure. The integrated DC choke that I mentioned eliminates the need for a 3% external line reactor, so no more of that additional cost or size in your control panel. Again, the G120X was specifically designed for water, wastewater, and HVAC applications. If you're outside these applications, we recommend taking a look at the G120. The G120 is designed for general purpose applications up to about 400 horsepower, and it offers a few options that the V20 and G120X do not. First, it's a modular design. That means that your power module and your control unit can come apart, so you can quickly just swap components and not have to replace the other. Second, you have more commissioning options available. You can use any of the operators panels or the SD card like we did with the G120X, but now we also have software options available. You can use the standalone starter software, or you can use the TIA Portal start drive and integrate the drives into your PLC project. While all three of these drives control induction motors, the G120's CU250S-2 control unit is the only one that can control an encoder and help you with more precise speed control. And lastly, the V20 doesn't offer any safety functions. The G120X offers safe torque off, but the G120 can offer even more, such as safe brake control or safe stop one. This was just a quick highlight of the V20, G120X, and G120. But when trying to decide the best one for you, there are a few key questions you should ask yourself. Check out my video where we go over these questions in detail. If you have any questions on these drives covered here, or on any of the other general purpose drives, please reach out. We would love to answer your questions and we have demos to share. 